you know I've been on the planet here quite a while. I got a lot of questions about a lot of things that I hadn't had the answers for. But today, I've got the answer to one, and I know you want to know what it is too. So let's check it out. Welcome back, friends. And one of those questions we're going to answer today is, how many damn burns can I get out of this 110 gram canister of fuel? That's really what we want to know. That's one of the great mysteries of the universe. That's the thing that keeps me up at night, sit up in bed, trying to figure it out, don't know what it is. Well, I just had to go figure it out for myself. And I'm going to pass that information on to you. But it's really pretty simple. And it's just two words. And those two words are, it depends. So it depends on a lot of things. We're talking about this 110 gram fuel canister here. Uh, the small one, the one that's real popular that nests in a lot of containers and things like that. This is probably the, the one you see most. Not this big one with the wider base, but this is one we're going to talk about today. And the way I conducted my test was with an MSR pocket rocket, just like this one. Everybody knows and loves the old pocket rocket. You either have one, you had one, you heard about one, you want one. So we use that one for our test, but just to let you know, I also checked out the same type of testing on my BRS-3000T, my little baby titanium $14 stove here. And just to let you know, the burn rates on these are almost identical within two seconds per burn, so there's not that much there. Solo guy, this works out pretty good, small container, if you're cooking for more people, have a bigger container. MSR might be the way you want to go with the larger base here. Now when I said it depends, it depends on a lot of things. If you're way up here in the high country like me at 404 feet where we need oxygen, uh, I know what it does for me at that altitude. Altitude is one of the biggest uh, variances that you're going to have to deal with. Temperature is another one. When I conducted the test, we were in uh, 58 degree ambient temperature. Our water temperature was 58 degrees. That's going to be a lot different if you're, uh, you know, getting water out of a water trough and it's, you know, 80, 90 degree water. Same thing goes if you're getting water out of a nice cool stream there in Colorado and you're at 9,000 feet. Now, if you're like my buddy uh, Tuba Solo, the hiker out there in California where he's always, you know, 7,000, 8,000 feet, his burn rate is going to be a lot different uh, as opposed to my buddy down here in Alvarado. Uh, Tony down there at Blue Collar Backcountry, you know, where he's down hiking at a thousand feet, maybe 1500. So the only way you're going to be able to figure this out for yourself is to test it. And what I did is I used a my small totes container here, two cups of water I did for all these bulls. Now that's one other thing that's going to change for you too. If you're using a titanium pot, that's going to be different than if you're using stainless steel or if you're using, you know, aluminum or for you guys across the pond that don't know how to pronounce things aluminium but that makes a big difference it's going to make a big difference if you use the lid or not obviously if you use the lid your water is going to boil faster and for this experiment we use the tokes titanium pot and we use the lid now just remember you know about 400 feet 58 degrees 58 degree water dump the water out let the pot cool for a second more water back in fired it back up and i lit the flame to where it was just curling the edges of the pot so we got as close as we can you know probably get it so what's your guess so far 10 no, no you're wrong so what I did is I just uh, sacrificed my self my fuel my water half of my afternoon to sit there and watch this thing burn over and over again I know you don't want to do it so I'm just gonna let you know what the results were. Did you guess 14? That wasn't the guess either. Yeah. Speaking of guesses and questions, another one that bothers me, this great philosopher once said, he, he posed this question, you know, if God is almighty and all powerful, can he make a rock so big that he himself can't move it? No, that wasn't a philosopher. George Carlin. George. Anyway, that, that's another question that keeps me up, I'm wondering about. So, did you guess 16? No, you're wrong on that too. So, the other thing that I like to do on this, and I've weighed these, uh, I even kind of took my little 
drug dealer scale and their gram scale into Academy. And I weighed several of these. And these are right on the money. You've got 110 grams of fuel. The whole thing weighs 211. So basically, uh, you have a container that weighs uh, 101, 101 grams. Best thing to do is do a little experiment. If you're just going to be, you know, camping around, you know, uh, the same altitude that you live at, just go burn, you know, a couple cups of water with your lid, and see how long it takes, and then go measure and see how much fuel you use there. And then that way, you're going to know how much it's going to be per burn. Every time you go camping, what I do is I'll put a. You'll see this one has uh, nine marks on it. I just take a little sharpie and put marks on it. So I've got nine burns into it. So if I'm going somewhere for the weekend and I'm going to need to, you know, do four more burns, I know I got plenty of fuel here. But that's the best way to do it is figure out how much fuel you're going to burn for your particular uh, needs, whether it's coffee or, or whatever. But it seems like the the number seems to be about two cups. Uh, whatever you're doing, if you're making coffee or if you're making, you know, a mountain house meal or something like that. Another question. If we're the superior species on the planet, how come we have to use toilet paper and animals don't? That ain't fair. Anyway, that's, that, that's another one that, that kind of bothers me. So, just remember, altitude, temperature, container, steel, aluminum, titanium, lid, no lid, but for our particular situation with the pocket rocket, two cups of water with a lid, I got 18 burns per canister. So it's going to be different maybe where you live. Uh, but the only way you're going to be able to figure that out is do a little bit of testing on your own and then every time you come back mark your canisters so when you want to throw that in your gear closet and go out for the next time you're not sitting here going I wonder if I got enough fuel yeah I'll be fine and then get out there and you need six burns and you only got two burns in your canister so that'll kind of suck for you so that's the answer 18 bulls for us right here right here on the goat ranch your mileage may be, you know, may vary. So, till next time, you guys be safe and hope to see you out on the trail. Adios.